All right, guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be servicing this Mercedes C250. It's a diesel. It's a 2.1 litre engine. Basically, we just got air filter, oil, oil filter, and cabin filter. So hopefully, it should be pretty straightforward. We'll start with figuring out where the air filter is. I assume it's somewhere under, under here, probably. This thing here or something. Took the air box, so. We'll get that sorted, then we'll do the cabin filler. And then we'll get the oil sorted. Can't remember if we showed a video with the uh, new wheel on or not. But yeah, got a new alloy for it. So now everything's sorted now. Still got this little mark here, but we're not gonna mess about with that too much. But yeah, oh, there we go. Oh, great, that looks fun to get under there. That's just peed on my car, bro. What are you doing, lad? Take <laughs> best on your car, what do you think it is? <laughs> oh, there's a bit of, um, of stuff down there. All right, anyway, we'll get all this removed off. All right, so we've just removed all the T25s. Is two, four, six, one, one. Either there. And then there's one Phillips in the centre for some reason. And we should be able to just lift it up. And we've got the air filler. That air filler is the craziest thing I've ever seen. You've seen one like that before? No. Mercedes? Damn. We've never seen so much shit close to a throttle bottom, is it? There's bees and all sorts of stuff in here. Sorry, fucking maths, that's it. We'll get all this taken out and cleaned up. But there you go, look. And get the uh, air filter changed. But is that Marley? Which is classed uh, as like a lower breath. Oh, yeah. Uh... Alright, we've got the new air filter in. The old one was 2022, so that's pretty decent because we had no service history with this car. But it says on the bottom there that it was 2022, so that's good. But yeah, got the new Bosch one in. Lines up perfectly with that little screw hole. That's why it must have one in the center, so it screws it in. Just get this sat properly, and then you screw that one in, and then all the rest of them. I'll put the cap back on this, so when we clean it, we'll use it next time. Yeah, yeah, shall. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we've got all, we've got all the air filter sorted now. Just a quick note: if you wanted to do the fuel filter, it's right here. It doesn't look too difficult to get to or anything, or anything too bad. So, yeah, if you. Do you want to change your fuel for it? It's right here. I think there's them side clips there. You probably just pop them off. Take these two hoses out. Disconnect the connector. You probably just swap it out and put the new one in. But yeah, just thought I'd let you just show you that. All right, so I'm under the passenger glove box. I've took out three 20 torques. There's one over here, one here, one back here. And this panel drop down. And you see this thing here, the white cover on it. Just pull that back, like that. And you can just take it right out. Nice and simple. And you just get the new one and put it in. It was a blueprint. Blueprint as well, apparently. Did you change this whole thing or does it come out? No, the entire thing. Oh, the entire thing? Yeah. It's got the Merc logo on it, but it's called, but it's a blueprint. You've seen the blueprint brand, haven't you? Yeah, the even duper on the mouth. Yeah, literally. Got the new one? Yeah, maybe the Mercedes. Ch drop. Mercedes there we go. Just like maybe. I mean, this don't have uh, anything on it. <laughs> What's this one? Bosch. Bosch. Yeah. Oh. That would help if I went the right way. Right, that's that all changed, all screwed back in. Now on to the oil. All right, we're just getting the little tray off so we can get to the bolt. Just eight mil bolts. Just using this beautiful snap-on ratchet that uh, my friend gave me. He's had for like 20 odd years. It works better than the new ratchet you bought. <laughs> yeah, six weeks ago. Yeah. Milwaukee one. Just 
take this little under trail bit off and then we can get to it. The thing I do like about this though, you see that little pad there in the centre so you can just jack it in the middle. Yeah. That is a nice thing. Nice and the feature. only problem is you couldn't use it if you were trying to... No, if you're doing this, probably not, but like, you're doing something to do with the front brakes Why does or that one feel different? I don't know, I thought it is. It's because it is different. <laughs> I'll get this under tray off and then we can get to the sump. Alright, so we had to take off that first tray you've seen us at. And then the big huge one at the back, you had to take that off as well. There are the bolts, all eight mils. Grant's just taking off the sump plug now, which is right there. What size was that, Grant? 13? 13. That's a 13 there, so... Fuck that! Fucking pain! He's <laughs> gonna try him. Do you want me to grab it? <sighs> It's great work on stones, by the way, guys. Ow. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, I got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just take this out. It's probably going to shoot more that way. Yeah. There's a washer there I want to try and get off as well, but... That's cool. We've got a fucking plastic one. Have we? Oh, no, yeah, we've got a rubber one, I mean. Like a nylon? No, as in, like, full, like, rubber, like a Ford one. Oh, the hell? Oh, I had to put my whole hand in it to catch it. Yes, it's pretty black, but it is a diesel. The hand in the fucking bucket. Oh. You put your fucking hand in the bucket. Oh. Damn, there's so much oil in it. All right, yeah. So we'll let that drain out How and big clean is up. Right? Yeah, it's like nine, no, fifteen liters, I think. That's good. Right, so while that's draining, we've loosened up the oil uh, filter cap. Where's the tool that we use for that? Oh, there it is. We use this, but it's not the best. You want to get the right tool, really, but we don't have it, so that's what we used. So we've loosened that off. And there this one is. That is massive. So then you just change all the oil seals. You've got one there, one there, and one up top. Change them free and obviously the filter. So I'll do that and then show you afterwards. All right, so we've took all the sealed oil filter and the old seals. Got the new one on it now. And literally all I use is this little pick tool to just pull them off. And we've got the filter in. There's a little line there, you see, there's another one down the bottom. You're only meant to be able to see one, so just make sure you push it all the way down and use that as a reference. And then we just put it back in. And make sure you tighten it back to 25 newton meters with the right tool so no one has. Yeah, and there. I, I mean, the bottom out anyway, so I don't know why it has the new meters. I wonder it... if this has got a clicker in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should do. Yeah, true. So we'll just use this to tie it up now. And then when that's done, we can put the sump plug back in and the new crush washer and then tie it up and fill it with oil. That's so right. comfortable. <laughs> We've got the sump back in, 30 mil, cleaned it all up around there. Now we're just going to put the under tray back on. I got Grant a gun this time, so he doesn't have to do it by hand because he's, I don't know, he said his arms couldn't handle it or something. Was that what he said? Oh yeah. Yeah. So we're uh, gonna screw this back on. And then we, can, well actually, well Grant's screwing that on, I'll fill it with oil. All right, I've just filled it with some oil. I've just put six liters in so far. Apparently it takes six and a half. So I'll check the dip stick. Obviously it is a bit slanted. Um, check the dipstick, see what level it's at. If it needs some, if it's not on the dipstick yet, then I'll add some more in. Then I'll start it and stuff and let it run through the filter and stuff. And then we'll keep going back until it's spot on. I'll put it on the floor first though when Grant's finished underneath. All right, so I just checked the oil then and it had plenty in it. So I started it up just to let it run a little bit through the oil filter and stuff, let it get around the engine. Then leave it for knock it off, leave it ten minutes, and then we'll check it again. 
but literally it sounds even better now need to change the uh, brake pad wire sensor because we broke it but yeah alright just check the uh, dipstick and I don't know if you can see that it's pretty much at the top so that's spot on now just dip it again just to there you go so we're just going to leave that we've put 6 litres in it probably had a little bit in as well from the stuff that didn't completely drain out we say six and a half, but like I said, probably already had a 200 mil in it, so we're happy with that. But yeah, that's it all service now. Just need to put that cup, uh, cover back over the top. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight.